And a very good evening to all my viewers. It is right now Friday, January the 20th, 2023. And it is exactly 5.24 p.m. And we are here at Central Station aboard a Bombardier multi-level. And this is the Exo train going in the Muscoosh direction. And we're going to take a train ride now between here and Sauve train station. And then we'll get off at Sauve train station and walk to Sauve metro station. So we should be leaving momentarily uh, for this ride. We're going to be going backwards, uh, change it up for a bit, and uh, yeah, we'll be moving backwards. And you can hear the locomotive getting ready to start. Very beautiful sound. Just so you know, we're in the front rail car, so the locomotive is actually the next car, uh, would be the next, uh, if there was a rail car, it would be the one in front of us. So the locomotive is right through those doors there. So uh, we're getting ready to depart. And we're going to sit here. This is uh, rail car 3069 and we're on the top level and you can hear the systems starting up. I like to call them the life support systems, uh, but it's just air conditioning and heating and whatnot. Uh, well, yeah, we're getting ready to depart here. Right now I am facing towards the north. If we were to continue straight through the station, there would be the Mont Royal Tunnel where the former Dumont Tang line used to run, MR90s. Now it's being converted to the REM. And this way here is facing to the south. And we are going to, yeah, here we are, we're moving now. And we're gonna be seeing the outside in about a minute or so. If this looks familiar to a recent video I did, that's because, well, the Mont St. Hilaire line is also from this train station here, Central Station. And in that ride, we went across the Victoria Bridge. Well, this for this ride, we're staying on the island of Montreal. We're gonna be going south for a little bit. And then going towards the west, and then north, and then east again. Sort of similar to the St. Jerome line, in a way. Uh, so we should see some interesting things along the way. And uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to talk too much during the ride. Um, there's a Via train, by the way, a nice, look at that. Nice Via locomotive in front of us. So we'll wait till the train leaves and I'll resume filming. All right, so we're moving now again. And we got another Via train in front of us here to our west. This is, of course, where the Via Rail trains go here in Montreal and depart. So we should be outside in about uh, 20 seconds. And my last train ride here, I was lucky enough to catch the REM train being tested. Maybe we'll see a REM train again getting tested. That would be really cool. And if you're watching this video now, uh, and you're watching the premiere, uh, well, you get to chat with me in the chat. If you have any questions or comments about my channel, there's another Via train. Oh, there are actually uh, ooh, two locomotives there. Beautiful. And it is snowing a little bit outside, so adds to the scenery. So this is a longer train ride than the one we took last time uh, to St. Lambert on the Mount St. Hilaire line. So it's going to take a while to upload, but it's perfect for a premiere. And if you're not familiar with what a premiere is on YouTube, basically it's a chance to, well, when the video gets uh, published for the first time, you can actually watch it and chat with other users, as you may see now. And if you're watching this later on after the premiere, well, there should be a history of the chat as well. Um, and if you missed the chance to chat, well, look, I'm going to be doing premieres more often, so. Anyways, uh, depending on the situation, we may hit some rail traffic, like we did last video on the Mount St. Hilaire line, or we may have a smoother ride because we're not going across the bridge. 
And again, we are moving right now south, but we're going to be curving soon, heading east, or sorry, heading west. So we're heading south right now, and then we're going to be heading west. And uh, we're going to be going northbound for a bit, and then eastbound. So here's where the train starts to curve towards the west. I don't see any REM trains right now. Could mean that they're not testing right now or they're simply uh, taking a break. That's the REM line right there, by the way, beside us. There's Wellington Street. So for this ride, I'll try to stay in this one spot. Or All right, so there was an announcement, something about uh, work being done. But uh, as I said, depending on the situation I may, change spots, uh, you know, just to change it up a bit, but for most of the ride I will stay here in this area. Alright, so there's the REM tracks slowly disappearing from view because they're going up, they're elevated, and we're staying here on the bottom. I will do a daylight version of this video. I have done a video on this line before, by the way, uh, in the daytime. Or at least when there was a bit more daylight. There's the Lachine Canal. This was last year. I was collaborating with Gab, Technic 990, fellow YouTuber, transit enthusiast. Um, and I think we have to reshoot the footage because there was a problem with it or might have even been lost on, on his part. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna, we're going to refilm it from scratch probably in the spring, hopefully. Um, yeah, so here we are. There's Wellington Street. There's some... Looks like uh, power substations for the REM, REM trains. Definitely permanent, I believe. 25,000 volts in there. There's a warning sign. There's Bridge Street. And that goes right to the Victoria Bridge. So this section of tracks is also shared by freight trains and via trains. And this is where we have officially split tracks um, from the Mont St. Hilaire line. So now we're definitely moving westbound. This is a container facility. I do have the XO yard to my right here, but I don't see anything interesting in there, so not really worth filming right now. I guess I can quickly show you. Yeah, that's the XO maintenance facility right down there. You can kind of see the XO sign right there. Now we're going over Wellington Street.
here's the Point St. Charles neighborhood. Now again, it is nighttime, so it's not the most exciting scenery, but uh, you will see as we go on a couple of more interesting things, including some famous rail fanning spots for rail fanning. We're going to see the St. Ambrose Street crossing coming up. And uh, yeah, we're going to be going through Coach St. Luke area. I like see a nice view of the rail yards there, the Tosh Rail Yards, I think it's called. Yeah, we're coming up now to uh, Charlevoix Street after this little street here. There's a library, Point St. Charles Library. So right now, my camera is facing to the north, and we are going in a westerly projection, westerly, westerly direction. Who knows, maybe we'll even see some fellow YouTubers, some fellow, fellow rail fanners along our journey here. That would be cool to see. And again, once I get to Sovey Metro, uh, Sovey train station, I'll film the walk to Sovey Metro station. So you have an idea, just like I did that time, uh, there, by the way, there's Charlevoix Street. Just like I did that time in uh, the St. Jerome line, getting off at Park Station and going to Park Metro Station. If I'm, mistaken, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think this train only has four passenger cars. A very short train. Okay, so now we are slowly coming up to the Argon Sin Street, which is often a place where rail fanners film. Usually from the other side, beneath us. kind of see the downtown core. And now we are coming up to the Lachine Canal once again and we are slowly going into a northerly direction now, north projection. There's the Atwater Tunnel. St. Patrick Street is coming up. Now we're sort of facing east. There's St. Patrick Street. So we sort of did a U shape. There's the Lachine Canal, hot water market in the distance. And here comes the St. Ambrose Rail Crossing. Will we see anybody? Who knows? Nope, don't see any rail fanners. But where we just passed is where uh, a lot of train videos are shot for uh, YouTube. And this is the St. Henry neighborhood, by the way. And it would be interesting if there was a train station here. Uh, I might just get off and go to Plaza Saint Henri Metro, which we're probably going to see in a moment. Now we're going to come to another rail finding spot, the uh, De Corcel Rail Crossing, I think it is. Yeah, there's uh, Notre Dame Street, Notre Dame Street. There's a 35 bus. And, oh, look at this. That's the construction there for the extension of St. Henry Metro, the new entrance. And there it is, Place St. Henry Metro, right there.
around here is where that fifth alarm fire was that I filmed uh, last fall. All right, we're picking up speed, so it's gonna get a bit faster, so uh, should be interesting. Here's another rail fanning spot right here that I was talking about, I think it's Duke Corsell. Nope, no one rail fanning there. I guess it is nighttime, so. Maybe not many rail founders out. Now, if we were on the Vaudreuil Hudson line, we would be directly in front of us right now. There is the MUHC hospital, that's uh, of course the Montreal Children's, Royal Victoria, Shriners and whatnot. And Vendome Station, Vendome Station is right behind there, which I do have videos of that line. And we're going to cross that line. We're going to do a junction, I think it's called, a real junction. I just heard a train go by. Maybe it's, oh, it's our train. It's our locomotive picking up speed. There's uh, the carry. The carry, and up there is the St. Jacques overpass where that structure is. So because we are in the front rail car near the locomotive you do hear the sounds of the locomotive and that's partially why I chose this seat this car rail car but maybe before we get off we'll go to the, the back the rail uh, the, where the, the cab car is the, the cab rail car all right so here is a walking path you can't see it because it's nighttime but right in front of us there's a walking path very beautiful place to rail fan as well We're slowly coming up now to the rail junction where the two train lines are going to cross. Now I got to keep in mind something. This this is the Muskoosh line, so this goes all the way to Muskoosh, which is basically north east of Montreal, more or less, uh, near Terrebonne, past Repontney. I think sort of north west of Repontney, but in general. Um, Muskoosh is north east of Montreal. Now, usually this train line would take the Mont Royal Tunnel. There's a freight train, by the way, probably parked. Yeah, usually this train would take the Mont Royal Tunnel. Um, and it would share the tunnel with the, the Du Montagne line. But because, of course, the Du Montagne line, which is where the Du Montagne uh, Ram line is being built. Because of that fact, uh, the tunnel's closed, so the Muskoosh line has to take this detour, which is pretty cool. I actually like this detour. But if you're somebody, that, for example, would traditionally take this train to Sauvé Metro, uh, to Sauvé train station, where we're getting off, um, usually you would take this train to beat the Metro, because it's faster. If you were to go right through the Mont Royal Tunnel, the Dumontagne line and the Muskoosh line would split. And this line would go right to Hanse Cartierville station and Sauvé. And you can go right, get off at Sauvé Metro, uh, Sauvé station and go to Sauvé Metro station. Be faster than taking the Metro. This detour is a lot longer than taking the Metro. Um, uh, sorry, it's a lot longer, yeah, than taking the Metro just to Sauvé Metro station. So what I'm saying is some people used to take this train. Let's say they had to get off it where Sauvé Metro Station is, around that area. Instead of taking Sauvé Metro Station on the Orange Line, they would take this train and get off at Sauvé uh, Exo Train Station. So that would be faster than taking the Metro, but this is much longer, this detour. And for people that live on the Muskoosh Line, well, it's a very long detour because it goes all the way around through Lachine and whatnot, quote St. Luke, around that area, more or less. Uh, and then eventually it does make its way uh, on its normal path, normal tra tra trajectory. Oh, so we're going to see uh, perhaps the Exo Lachine rail yard here coming up. Or maybe not, not sure. But uh, anyways, also keep in mind that once 
this uh, once the rem is built this line is going to start at, Mesco at uh, Cote St. Luke. The Muscoosh line is going to start at Cote St. Luke Station, which is right near, uh, I think it's the Cote de Lille, uh, yeah, it's going to be at Cote de Lille Station, which is right near Kenora Station, so. Uh, it's uh, probably confusing people all this talk, but basically this train line is going to start at a uh, much further point than Central Station. And Central Station is only going to be used for the uh, Mont St. Hilaire Exo line. And then, of course, the Du Montagne line for the REM, which uh, should be completed within a few years, at least that section. First section to open up is going to be, well, first section of REM is going to be the South Shore branch between Central Station and Brossard. There's an Amazon warehouse. There's another freight train going by. So we're 21 minutes, 22 minutes into the video now. Should be about an hour long this video, so it's going to be quite, uh, quite the ride. Uh, which is fun, like I said, for a premiere video, it's perfect because uh, you know you can have an hour of just chatting with other transit fans on YouTube or viewers. Fellow uh, YouTuber, fellow transit fan, D Ban, took the train before this one, I think. He wanted to take it for fun, and I'm like, hey, you know what, why, why don't I do the same thing, I'll get the next train. Um, I think he was filming from the other side. He'll put up a video eventually, hopefully, of his ride. Lucky for him, he had more daylight. But the good news is, even at nighttime, this camera picks up some good quality scenery. All right, so we're now definitely in Lachine. These are actually rock cliffs and there's a little marsh, a little uh, lake there. Not a lake, uh, a stream. So now we're slowly curving around. We're, we're going to be moving in the east direction. I'll put a, in the description, the video description, um, a map of this Muscoosh line, this detour. And I'll also include a link to the REM project. So you can see where the new Muscoosh line is going to start. At Cote de station once that's built. We're probably going to see that section of REM as well. That's under construction uh, later in the video. Okay, so now I think we're entering... Uh, is this Norman? No, this, this isn't Norman Street. Uh, we're coming up to the rail yard, I think. If we're not already in it. hear that locomotive, a lot of power, you can even smell the diesel right now. The vibrations as well are pretty strong because we're in the first rail car behind it.
Yeah, so, oh, what was those lights flashing? Must be a truck or something around, around here. All right, so keeping an eye out both windows because definitely if the other window has more scenery, more trains or more to see, I'll definitely switch over briefly. Again, just bear with me. It uh, should get a little bit more interesting. Quickly show you the car, the car again, the real car. See, I would go up to a different rail car or go to the area in between the rail cars, but then I don't want to risk uh, missing something through the windows while I'm walking around. And this area is very quiet. There's a lot of nature here because it's not really touched by anybody. It's literally in the middle of nowhere sort of in the middle of Montreal, sort of in maybe the middle, the western middle of Montreal. Pretty much between, I guess, Côte St. Luke and Lachine, if you want to think of it that way. All right, uh, I'm starting to see more lights coming up now, so that means we're exiting this little forested, forested area. And I'm pretty sure we're coming up to perhaps some more interesting trains we may see on the side here or at least uh, park trains maybe rail cars we got some tracks here that are converging together you notice that we're going very slowly that's because there's speed limit around here. Probably because there's a lot of rail traffic and whatnot. Yep, so we're still turning, we're still on a curve. Yeah, we're definitely in the rail yards now because of the fact that there's so many tracks and little roadways and whatnot. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to film uh, briefly out the other window here for a second. Just for a minute or two because from what I'm seeing it's a little bit more interesting as of right now. Ah, there you go. So there's like, uh, I guess you can call it a, maybe not an air traffic control center, but a, one for trains. You can see it's kind of elevated so they can see all the traffic in the rail yard, whether it's vehicle traffic, train traffic. So compared to the window I was at in this one, this one definitely seems to have more interesting things to see. So we got some tanker cars over there. Uh, we got more container cars is down there. Auto cars, auto rack cars I think they're called in the distance.
these are grain cars coming up basically you fill them at the top and empty them on the bottom you can see there's little chutes at the bottom still checking the window I was at nothing of interest there this one seems to be the best got some more tanker cars there yeah look at this this is all trains that are parked here waiting to be loaded unloaded onto locomotives some are just stored here really cool we'll switch to the other window soon once we pass through this rail yard yeah definitely in the daytime you have the advantage of seeing more details but uh, nighttime offers that nice illuminated glow throughout the rail yard. Really cool to see. parking lot there maybe for the workers or it could also be vehicles getting ready to be moved to the auto cars like transport vehicles around some more tanker cars here Yeah, I don't think that's a parking lot. I think that's actually a place for vehicles to go when they're being shipped around. Interesting truck coming up here. Some kind of attachment in the front. Oh, it looks like it's blowing snow or something. Hmm. Who knows? Let me tell you, these train rides, if you're tired, they will put you to sleep easily. Alright, so I think, yeah, we've exited the rail yard, so we'll go back to our original window over here. As you can see, we got some stuff out here now we can look at different buildings, industries. I'm not sure exactly where we are right now, so I don't want to give any false information, but uh, I'm pretty certain we're moving east now we're moving in the east direction and i'm pretty sure we're facing south the camera's facing south i 
I do have the option as well of getting off at Hunsick Cartierville, but uh, I did commit to my viewers that I would be filming the Sauvé, which I will do. And we're coming up now to, looks like another warehouse or something. Transport truck going there. Another one coming up. Oh, wonder what's in here. Oh, it looks like a chemical plant or chemical storage facility. Hmm. And I apologize if the windows aren't the clearest. They are a bit dirty. And also because it's winter, uh, they fog up and there's condensation and ice and snow and water melting snow. So considering though it is pretty decent. Oh, this is, uh, I think, Ville, no, this is, is this Ville Saint Laurent? Not sure. And again, this is not the same train tracks that the St. Jerome line takes. Uh, these are separate ones. All right, so we're coming up, of course, to a Hunsick Cartier Ville station, which is the next station. It's trying to figure out uh, where we are based on what I can see. But, uh, hmm. oh, I think we are going through this, uh, Ville Saint Laurent, you know. Maybe, possibly. They are definitely coming up to a Hunts at Cartier Ville, though. Oh uh, yeah, I know where we are now. So yeah, we are in Saint Laurent and making our way towards the Hunts at Cartierville station, uh, which we should be arriving at shortly. And then of course from there it's to Sauvé station. Depending on the train schedule, maybe I'll take a train back, or at least if I don't take this train back, maybe I'll see if I can go to the St. Jerome line and take one back to Lucien L.A. station. Picking up speed a little bit now. Currently it's 6.05 p.m. So uh, 39, almost 40 minutes into the video now. Uh, if I remember, it's a 50 minute train ride. So I think we're about 10 minutes away from Sauvé. Give or take a few minutes. I got some school buses down there. I don't know if they're electric or not. Again, I'm looking through both windows to see what's more scenic, which window, and oh, well, it seems like they're equal. Oh, there's a little path there. Hmm. Is this, uh, is this the STM garage? Stinson? Yeah, it is. There's the STM uh, Stinson garage right there. One of the biggest garages for Montreal buses, STM buses. Okay, so now coming up is a Hunts at Cartierville station.
we may see some rem trucks guys yeah we are here we are there's the rem trucks under construction there's uh i think that's it right there i could be wrong no oh, that's the highway <laughs> oh, i thought that was a rem station watch <laughs> that's a warehouse what am i talking about that's how that's how it is at nighttime you know it's hard to to gauge Sorry about that. So I don't think we're gonna be passing any more rem tracks. So I think the the most rem tracks that we saw were on our way here on the South Shore branch before we split. It's a really rocky ride at this point. All right, so another highway coming up here. And the thing that I want to mention as well is for the Hunsett Cartierville station it's right near the one th uh, right near the 139 bus line and the 539 bus line and that's where you have your PNF yeah so as I was saying we may actually see the PNF bus lane. Alright, I think if I understand that message is saying because of work going on, we may be stopping at the station for a few moments, a few minutes. Alright, so here we are. This is Ger, Ger Ahuntsik, Ahuntsik station. So it's not a Hunsik Cartierville station, it's simply a Hunsik station. And there's uh, Peanut Street, right there, I believe. So if we were to get off here, well, look, that's the station we would go in. But the station we're getting off at, which is next, also has a nice elevator in it, which I filmed before, but uh, yeah. You know, it's really amazing how so many notifications come on your phone while you're filming. Alright, so we'll wait for the train to depart and then I'll resume the video. Alright, so we actually stopped for a good 5-10 minutes or so. Now we're moving again. Really nice design these stations. Alright, so next station should be Sauvé. Oh, now this is where the St. Jerome line is, right down there. There's actually a train, there's a St. Jerome train there in the distance. That's Park Station down there. So we just passed the St. Jerome line, right over the St. Jerome line. We're we were perpendicular to it, it was a junction. So we're definitely facing south right now. That's us. So you notice there's no announcement. That means that uh, I guess when the train gets to Sauvé, it will not be stopping for a few minutes like it just did so I'll tell you what since we're approaching Sauvé don't go anywhere because I'm just gonna go to another rail car to show you around um, if you haven't seen my other videos or you're not familiar and even if you have well it's always fun to move around sometimes and uh, like I said just a reminder I'll be walking all the way to Sauvé metro station probably right to the platform level Well, looks like we're here already. That was a fast trip between the two stations. 
Okay, so we'll get off here. Might as well. Just want to show you between the two rail cars the cool view. Which side are we going to be getting off? Uh, if I remember last time I was here, I think it was this side. Yeah. So before we go down, I'll show you the train departing. And here we are, Sauvé, Gare Sauvé. And if you're wondering, this ramp right here is, uh, well, the pictures show you. It's for uh, wheelchairs, carriages, people with reduced mobility. So here's a look of how short this train is. We got the locomotive, we got one, two, three rail cars, not four, three rail cars. Very short train because this line is not used that often. There we go. So now we'll walk to Sauve Station once this train departs. Beautiful Bombardier multi-levels. I prefer to buy levels, which are a different variant of a multi-level train. And there it goes, off to Muskoosh. So if you just wanted to watch the train ride and you want to go, well, I wish you a good night, good day, more videos to come. And if you want to stick around, well, we're going to go to Sove Metro Station. And by the way, this rail line here is shared with Via. There's a, I think it's the Jean, Jean Tier, Jean Tier train that uh, goes here, which I think is also north east of Montreal, more or less. All right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna take the elevator, and you can actually see Sauvé Metro Station from here if you're wondering. And yes, there's a very big cemetery, and you got these power lines as well very high voltage lines that run above us so we're gonna go here we're gonna take the elevator this is your verification machine by the way uh, if you wanted to get on right before you get on the train you always have to scan your card and it says for accepted if you're wondering why it's in English well I explained before um, basically See if this works nope wheelchair access doesn't work it's okay we can open it manually uh, basically when I registered my opus card to pr protect it against theft or loss um, basically uh, just the form I filled out was in English so that's why all the messages are in English at the turnstiles and you're gonna see when we go into Sylvain Metro and it's also English there all right we're gonna get on here One of my favorite elevators and uh, the Excel train network. Very similar to STM elevators, but not quite. All right, so we're gonna go down now and uh, begin our walk. This must be the elevator company here, Global Tardif. Yeah. There's an electrical room, I guess, for the lighting, for the elevators. Um, fire safety equipment, fire hydrant, fire alarm over there. Uh, and there's our, I guess, uh, a panel. If there's fire or electrical issues, this is what they use. Um, all right, so we'll go out now, see if this one works. No, this one doesn't work either. All right, so if you can see here, here's your fare machine, if you wanna pay by money. Here's uh, the via line I was talking about right here um, for the via rail trains. And here's your departures time is it right now we got uh, oh it says right there so we're only 620 
and there's the different trains. There's your natural schedule. And some information on the local area. And there's your social media, Twitter accounts for different all the lines. Interestingly, they still have uh, the Dumont Tang line on here, X06. That, like I said earlier, is is uh, it's gone. It's being replaced by the REM line, electrical line. It has nothing to do with X anymore. Hey, look at this, a cool little generator here. I guess this is a city of Montreal yard or something. Yeah, there's some traffic lights, I think. Oh, actually, there's fire hydrants. That's so cool. Yeah, so this is a Montre city of Montreal maintenance center or something. There's some traffic poles. Uh, oh, look at this. Interesting piece of art. All right, so sorry for rambling. Uh, we're going to make our way now to Sauvé Metro Station. We're 51 minutes in. If I could get a one-hour video, yeah, it'd be really cool. Here's Port Royal. This street right here. And Port Royal becomes a oh, part of St. Denis. So this cemetery here, I think, is a Jewish cemetery. You can see this as well from Sauvé Metro Station. And you can see, obviously, it's also snowed again today. We got about 5 to 10 centimeters of the white stuff. Now we're going to see some STM buses. We're probably going to see some articulated STM buses, to be precise. Because this is where the 121 line runs. In fact, there's one right there. <laughs> Talk about timing. Well, these buses, the 121 bus, is very frequent. And it runs between Cofer 2 Metro, which is at the opposite end of the orange line. And goes to here, Solvay Metro Station, and a bit past Solvay. Uh, I think we're facing north right now, more or less. And this here is west. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. All right, so we're gonna be going on here to Sauvé Street. Now, Sauvé technically becomes Cote Vertu Boulevard down here, further down, eventually. So I'll tell you what, yeah, there's an entrance here to get into the metro, so we'll take this entrance here. We get a nice look at the 121 bus. And if you're watching my premiere and you stuck around for the whole video, well, thank you. And hopefully we're all chatting right now in the, the chat board. And uh, if you didn't, well, hey, no worries, no pressure. If you want to watch an hour of my video, five minutes, five seconds, hey, I want to keep my viewers happy. Yeah, so this is a Nova bus, articulated Nova bus. And this is from the year 2010. If you haven't been to Montreal in a while, there's actually card readers at the rear doors now on the articulated buses, but it's only for metro stations. It's to make boarding easier. Oh, uh, look, we got a snow removal operation going on around here. There's a dump truck full of snow just filled up. Nice truck, too. All right, so here's one of the entrances to Sauvé. We have another one down there. Uh, we're going to be going in here. Just want to show you a little something here. Uh, this is for water. Basically, you attach the hose there. If the maintenance crews want to clean up outside around the station. All right, so we're going to go in now to Sauvé Station. Very old signage here. Hey, look at that. The wind opened the door for us, huh? All right, so we'll go down here. Obviously, you can see the floors are quite slippery uh, when there's snowfalls. Winter time is a bit harsh on the metro system because you have not only the water, but you have the salt. Uh, salt, they actually mentioned in the STM the other day that salt can clog not only escalators, but uh, the door closing mechanisms on the train. So we'll just walk to the platform. I'm not going to take a train ride. Well, I'm going to take the train. I'm not going to film it. 
I just wanted to give my viewers a good impression of what it's like taking two forms of transit in Montreal. And Sauvé Metro Station, well, it's not exactly people's favorite in terms of the rankings. I know some transit fans that rank the stations on looks and whatnot. Uh, quality, cleanliness. But, you know what, I like it. I definitely like this random pattern of squares here on the walls. Here's our turnstiles. They haven't replaced these ones yet. These are the older ones. These have been installed since 2008, by the way. Yeah, as you saw, you may have seen, uh, it was in English. That message saying, fair accepted. This station does not have an elevator. A lot of metro stations do have elevators. This one doesn't yet. The STM has a goal of eventually, I believe, uh, getting most, if not all, of the stations with elevators. So we're going to be going in the Cobra 2 direction, which is down here. And uh, some new LED lights. More. These ones are burnt out haven't been replaced yet and now we're gonna see our metro platform and uh, next trains in five minutes try to get away from this music it's a little loud yeah so there's our uh, schedule boards if you're wondering it's uh, 6 31 p.m. we're going in the code for two direction next trains in five minutes and uh, yeah well look I want to thank you all for watching the video um, if you're watching the premiere, uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, I'll probably be sticking around in the chat. And uh, I invite my fellow transit fans to do the same. And uh, otherwise, if you want to go and continue your day or night, I wish you all a good evening, good night. And as I always say in my famous quote, more videos to come. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you all for watching.